the sleeping beauty of Lebanon's cultural life has finally reawakened. Originally the home of aristocrat Nicholas Ibrahim Sersok, Beirut's Sersok Museum opened in 1961 and played a key role in the region's art scene. Now, it is back once again to shine a light on Lebanese creativity, thanks to a $14 million revamp. Mixing old and new, the Sersok also includes a library detailing the museum's past. Knowing that in Beirut we've lacked, I mean, we lack so much of cultural infrastructure, this was a unique opportunity to um, provide uh, Lebanese, uh, whether artists, uh, researchers, curators, but also the general public, of course, uh, a space for exploration, education, uh, for fun. Evidence of Lebanon's artists in action is easy to see well beyond the walls of the Sersoc. There was a surge in gallery openings in October, and there are plans for a major modern art museum in the pipeline. At the University of Beirut's exhibition space, art professor Rico Francis explained that the activity in recent months demonstrates how quickly the scene is growing, despite the impact of the Syrian war. The country is in crisis, right? Uh, all kinds of problems, refugees, governmental, political. But you have to say, even given all of those crises, Lebanese society is extraordinary to the degree to, the degree to which it, it supports this really flourishing art scene. This has been taken into account at the Sersoc, which, thanks to a cavernous new underground space, is now five times its former size. But getting the displays right is just one hurdle to overcome. So one of the major challenges today is to build audiences for such a space, for, for such a place, and to succeed in attracting, I mean, different age groups, uh, social classes. For a museum known for its grand heritage, attracting a new kind of art lover may be the toughest challenge of all. John Owens, for VOA News, Beirut.